In this video, we're going to learn how to import layered compositions into After Effects. This is a really great way to leverage your existing design skills in Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator and make complex scenes and just pull them right into After Effects and get to keyframing. So in the demo files for this week, I've got two files, uh, this .ai and this .psd, and we'll work on importing both of those into After Effects as animatable compositions. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and open both of these up and just take a look at how they're structured. So we'll start with the Photoshop file. You can see here I've got a canvas in Photoshop that is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. And that corresponds to the size of the animation viewport that I'll be using in After Effects. So really important to pay attention to what the scale is that you're going to be working at and match that in your editing program. Aside from that, I have divided up my composition into uh, separate layers, and those correspond to any part of the composition that's going to move or animate or change separate from the rest of the image. Uh, and I've color coded all of these just to help illustrate uh, the places where we have a separate layer. So for example, uh, I can see this upper arm here uh, is separate from the rest of the torso and the lower arm. Uh, I can see I've got one big sort of background layer. Separating these out is going to allow me to animate them individually. Uh, it's also going to help me give uh, transparency in places where it's important. So uh, if we start to isolate some of these layers, let's look at just this torso layer and turn all the other ones off. I can see I have pixels only here in the center with the shape of the torso. Everything else is transparent. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our Illustrator file. And a lot of the same principles are going to apply there. One difference here is that this is actually wider than the animation viewport I'll be using in After Effects. So even though this file is 1080 pixels high, uh, it's something like 3600 pixels wide. And the reason for that is I want some of these elements to slide back and forth and come into and out of the scene. So for example, uh, if I highlight maybe these middle ground trees here, uh, I've got a few of these in a layer. Uh, you can imagine them sort of sliding back and forth uh, over the viewport, almost like we're moving through the landscape. That's the visual effect I'm planning for. Um, so again, the rule here is you want to make sure your composition is at least the size of the animation viewport or larger. And just like in Photoshop, I've kind of divvied up the parts of my composition that I want to move separately into separate layers. And in Illustrator, uh, the layers work a little bit differently than Photoshop, of course. Uh, what's going to happen is when I have a layer uh, such as the trees layer, which contains multiple uh, groups or individual paths, all of those are going to get glommed together into one pixel layer when we import it into uh, After Effects. So if I want things to be separately animatable or movable from other parts of the composition, they need their own uh, sort of top level layer. So let's go ahead and hide Illustrator. And before we jump into After Effects, uh, let's make sure we get our project files set up correctly. So again, in the demo files, I've got a blank After Effects project folder here. And inside of that are some subfolders. Uh, this is a really useful structure when I'm starting a new project for After Effects to make sure that I keep all of my files in the right place relative to one another. And that's super important for After Effects since, uh, especially if we're working with an Illustrator file or a Photoshop file and we're importing that, we're not actually saving that Illustrator or Photoshop file inside the After Effects project. We're just referencing it. So we need to make sure it's in the same place relative to our After Effects file. Uh, so I'm going to take this blank AE project and I'm just going to duplicate it. Uh, so I'm on a Mac here, I'm just right clicking and duplicating. Uh, you could also copy paste and that would do the same thing. And let's uh, just give this a different name. I'll call this import layered files. And if I expand this down, I've got a folder for Photoshop files and a folder for Illustrator files. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste into the respective folders. So now I can see I've got those set up and I'll make sure that when I set up my new After Effects project, I'll save it into this file and that way it'll stay in the same place relative to each of these. All right, let's go into After Effects. Uh, I have no project open right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and import both of our layered files. 
So from the file menu, I'll click on import and then file. And so here we are in our project folder. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab the Illustrator file first. So I'll select that. And then down here in the options, uh, some really important settings that I need to make sure that I set. Uh, under import as, let's click the drop down. I want to select composition retain layer sizes. So this does two things. It keeps our composition the correct size, and that's going to help with our planning to fit the animation viewport that we're working with. It's also going to keep each layer separate rather than flattening the entire image into just one layer. And if I want, I can have it create a composition inside of After Effects. That is what I want, so I'll leave that checked. If you don't see the options here, you may need to click that Options button to reveal them. So let's go ahead and click Open. And now if I take a look in the project panel, I can see I've got two new things. I've got a composition with the name of my Illustrator file, and then I've got a folder that has that name and layers. So what I have here are in that folder, each of the layers from that Illustrator file that I just imported. And then those have been already arranged for me into a composition uh, with the same name as the file. So in my case, that's parallax scene. I can double click and I can see all of the layers are arranged for me. Now, since I'm starting off with uh, an Illustrator file that's actually larger than the animation viewport I wanna deal with, I only need to come up to the composition panel, go into composition settings and tweak that size uh, to drop it back down. So rather than 3500 uh, by 1080, I want this to be 1920. And there you can see I'm kind of chopping off uh, those external parts of the left and right of the composition, but that still allows me to take these individual layers and slide them into and out of the, the edge of the frame. So an important note, when we have After Effects automatically create a composition for us, uh, we really don't wanna mess with the layers folder. We can just leave that alone. Uh, we wanna do all of our editing in the composition uh, like we see here. So I don't need to uh, sort of recreate my own composition that's already been done for me. All right, let's go ahead and do the same thing with our Photoshop file. So back to the file menu, I'll select import file. And let's back up to our main project folder. And I'll select that Photoshop file. Again here, I wanna make sure that I'm importing as composition with retain layer sizes. And I wanna create a composition. So I'll go ahead and click open. Now, one small difference that we'll see when we're importing Photoshop files is an option for layer styles. So this may or may not be something that you've used in your Photoshop file. In my case, it's not. So I'm just going to select merge layer styles into footage. Otherwise, we could select the other option and keep those editable. So I'll click OK here and you can see uh, I've got the same structure again. I've got a composition with the same name as my Photoshop file. Then I have a folder that holds all of the layers that were in that file. So again here, we don't need to do anything with the folder. We're just gonna edit the composition and there I can double click and open that up and I have access to all my individual layers. Okay, that's how we import layered files into Adobe After Effects.